This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to set hotkeys for the ZModeler brush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a Q-Cube loaded in. And the question is asking if there is a way to hotkey the actions here inside the ZModeler menu. So currently, there is no way to apply hotkeys to these actions. But you can create multiple Z modeler brushes, which will allow you to store different default settings for each brush. So as an example, here I just have the default Z modeler brush loaded. And this one has Q mesh for the poly action, insert edge loop for the edge, and move points for the point action. So I can go through now and change these actions for the Z modeler brush here, and then save another brush out with different default settings. So I'm gonna come through and just hover over poly and then press spacebar to go into the ZModeler poly menu. I'm gonna change the poly action to bridge connected polys. This is gonna allow me to come through and create bridging functions like this. I'm gonna hover over the point and change this to say something like split, which will allow me to split points like so. And then I'm gonna hover over the edge and change this to crease with a target of edge, which will allow me to come through and apply creasing to edges. So now they have those actions all set for the Z modeler brush. I now just need to save this as another Z modeler brush. So I'm gonna to navigate to the brush menu over here and I'm just gonna click save as. Now when you click save as, it's going to automatically open up your Z startup brush presets folder. And if you wanna have any brushes load on start when you start ZBrush, they need to be placed in Z startup brush presets. Do not store any brushes in the Z data brush presets. So make sure you're in Z startup, not Z data. Then once we're in here, we just need to name this brush. So I want to have a similar hotkey to the Z modeler brush, which is currently set to BZM. So I'm going to keep the Z modeler prefix on this and then say do something like underscore bridge, since my poly action was bridge connected polys. And then I'm just going to click save. Now after you save this, it's just going to overwrite your current Z modeler brush. So you need to restart ZBrush to get both those brushes loaded at the same time. So I'm just gonna close ZBrush quick and restart it. So after ZBrush is restarted, you'll see here is the default Z modeler brush. And this one's gonna allow me to do that Q mesh, insert edge loop, and move action. And then if I go to my brush menu or press B on my keyboard, then isolate by the letter Z, you'll see here I have the original Z modeler brush. And then here I have the other brush I just saved out, so the Z Modeler Bridge brush. Now if I select this brush, it's going to keep those settings we stored. So now I have the options to use that bridge connected polys, split point, or creasing on this model here. So I can quickly now switch back between those two brushes using hotkeys inside of ZBrush to get those different effects. So I come through and say bridge this and then switch back to the original Z modeler brush and then maybe add some edge loops in here. Then I can come back and say do a split if I go back to the other brush and then go back to the original one and use the Q mesh action. I can just come through and keep switching between those brushes to get those different effects. Now there's no limit to how many of these Z modeler brushes you can save out. So you can store a whole range of Z modeler brushes that are gonna allow you to come through and have different presets for everything. And then you can just quickly come through and say if you want one that does polygroup, poly loop, you can have one that does that, and just go through and make a whole wide range of brushes. And then you can assign hotkeys to all those brushes or drag them out onto your UI to quickly select them. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.